tell you what, I'm warm. <laughs> I'm warm. You do I look warm or do you, you look all right? You look all right, you're, glo you're glowing. I'd say you have a glow. I'm warm because we've just been filming. We're allowed to say this, aren't we, Rob? We can say this? Yeah, sure. Been filming an epic sketch with Kim Kardashian. <laughs> huge, huge sketch with Kim Kardashian. We just shot it, and uh, all the, you can, all the, you've ever seen the Kardashians on Hulu, the new, the new series? <laughs> Comes out soon. Cameras were there following us around. Could you cope with that? Would you like? Your own reality show? I'd be okay with it. Yeah. I don't know that anyone would be interested in watching. I feel like... That wasn't the question I asked you. That, I've... I think, was a given. I feel like the three minutes... <laughs> yeah. The three minutes a day I'm on here is more than enough for anyone in America. The only show I'd watch is Keeping Up With The Bernsteins. That's, that's I would... a, for sure. Because I would love to observe him in his natural state. I think the second he walks into his house, the clothes come off and a velvet robe goes on. <laughs> would that be right, Nick? What do no. you wear? What do you wear around the house? Well, what do, what do I you wear? wear around the house? I, I wear pretty much the same thing that I wear right now on the show, which I think is what most people do. Do you change when you go home? You do? <laughs> you change when you go home? Yeah. I am. I, I wear... I, you, you will never see me around my house without an elasticated waist. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I am. I, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I don't, shorts, yeah. shorts, T-shirt, or, like, sweatpants. You know, that's it. That's where you'll find me. My, my entire life outside of the show is sponsored by Lululemon. Yeah, you yeah. are. I've never known anybody jump into a brand faster than you jumped into Lululemon. Head first. I've never seen anything like it. Head but first. But you saw something I was wearing. We were on a shoot together, and you went... I was wearing a, a tracksuit, and you went, where's that from? And I went, uh, Lululemon. The next day, he FaceTimed me from Lululemon being like, is it cool if I buy the same tracksuit yeah. that you're buying? I was like, yeah. totally. And I looked behind him and I was like, how many are you buying? And you're like, I'm buying everything in my size. Yeah. Let's not go down this path again of talking about brands, brands that we've already talked about and gotten in trouble for talking about. And... Did we get in trouble for talking yeah, about that was Lululemon? Like a, we're, we're on a, like a year and a half loop right now. This is like the same <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Wait, we've done this before? We've definitely Stop. done this before. When? We've 100% sure. done this before. Before we had an audience back, there was a whole... Uh, was you a whole can't expect mess. us to remember that. We were drunk a lot of yeah. those shows. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but then we... And then, they, then we all wore Gap sweatpants. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. That's oh, right. We all back did now. a show it's wearing Gap sweatpants. Yeah. Yeah. Now I remember. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Celine Dion, like... It's all coming back, <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. Well, look, we could discuss this. Morning, noon and night, we could, but we can't. We shan't, because it's that time. It's time for the news. The news. And it appears the Department of Justice is preparing to call Donald Trump's bluff on his claim that he previously declassified the top-secret documents that were found at Mar-a-Lago. Sitting presidents can do that, obviously, but there's no proof that Trump did so whilst he was in office. Wow. It's like a, it's like a game of poker, this, isn't it? In that it's incredibly boring and we're all going to lose. <laughs> the DOJ is preparing to call Donald Trump's bluff. Do you need to prepare to call a bluff? Can't you just call it, call the bluff? It's not like, it's not like calling up an ex where you need to have four mimosas and a pep talk with Jen and Ange at brunch. <laughs> Speaking of Trump and legal jeopardy, former Trump advisor and current MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell claims that he ran into trouble with the FBI last night. Listen to him here in his own words. Uh, today, the FBI, uh, you're going to hear this, and you're probably already hearing it in the news. The FBI came after me and took my phone. They surrounded me at a Hardee's and uh, took my phone that I run all my business, everything with. Um, um, they could have just, what they've done is weaponize the FBI. Um, it's disgusting. I don't have a computer. Everything I do have that phone, everything was on there. And, uh, um, and they told me not to tell anybody. Here's an order not to... Don't tell anybody. OK, I won't. <laughs> well, I am. You can tell he's just happy to still be in the mix. <laughs> can you? Now, here's the thing. If they took his phone and he doesn't own a computer, how the hell is he making this video? <laughs> Who's 
doing? <laughs> How does he... He doesn't own a computer. I'm not saying Mike Lindell is a crazy person, I'm not, but how would you describe a man in the year 2022 who owns zero computers and at the same time, like, two million pillows? <laughs> Lindell stood his ground at Hardy's. <laughs> the Fed's got his phone, but he said if they want to take his mushroom and Swiss Angus burger, he'll have to come back with a warrant. <laughs> And the final primary elections were held yesterday. And if you forgot the elections were yesterday, you weren't alone, because last night, President Biden took an unplanned trip on Air Force One to his home state of Delaware in order to vote. Somebody should tell Biden he can just do what young people do. Post about the elections on your Instagram stories so everyone thinks you voted, don't vote, and then just carry on with your life. <laughs> Biden could have voted uh, early when he was in Delaware last weekend, but he forgot. And when the President of the United States barely cares enough to remember an election, you people should know you have too many elections. <laughs> of course, the Queen's funeral is set for Monday, and foreign heads of state who will be attending have been asked to arrive on commercial flights, and they've also been told that they cannot use their own state cars for the funeral. Instead, they'll be bussed in as a group. This is like one step away from saying that the only way Emmanuel Macron can come is if he has a group on. <laughs> now, this is true. President Biden has been given an exception to use his own state car. And it's a nice reminder that in these tragic times when the world unites in a moment of mourning, America's like, yeah, rules still don't apply to us. <laughs> But this is going to be a very sobering event for all of those heads of state. It will be, it will. They'll, 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 they'll confront their own mortality when they gather to mourn the passing of Queen Elizabeth, and then they'll confront their own mortality a second time when they have to fly home on Spirit Airlines. <laughs> And did you hear about this? According to a new poll, fewer than half of Americans can name all three branches of government. This is alarming. After the next election, angry mobs aren't even going to know which building they're supposed to storm. <laughs> I'm not even American. I can name all three branches of the government. There's legislative, the Jenners, and the Kardashians. <laughs> Less than half of Americans... Less than half of Americans can name all of the branches of government, but the news isn't all bad. They can name all of the dipping sauces available for McNuggets at McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah, and that's called priorities. Show of hands, be honest, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call you out or anything. Who here knows all of the branches of government? Put your hand up. Okay, and who knows all of the dipping sauces at McDonald's? <laughs> We're a healthy bunch. <laughs> Go on, give me, the, what are the dipping sauces? Ketchup. Oh, you can't, come on. That's a condiment, that's not a dipping that's sauce. A, yeah, that's not a dipping sauce. <laughs> He right, he right. What? All right, it's not... If we're talking nugget dipping sauce, that's not a McNugget dipping sauce. Okay. No. That's because in... But in the UK, no. you get it as a... No, 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 no. <laughs> this, is how it, this is how it starts. Okay, so let's remove ketchup. I just presume... Sorry. <laughs> sorry! <laughs> sorry! <laughs> sorry! <laughs> Di... Yeah. Okay, what do we got? Barbecue? Barbecue, tangy barbecue. You got a ranch, you got a honey mustard. You got honey, which is separate than honey mustard. Sweet, sweet and sour. sour. Sweet and sour. I'm only sweet and sour. I love a sweet and sour. These, all, these all have no, they have no interest Sometimes in me. you put a honey in a sweet and sour, and Never all of a sudden, now you're, now you're a chef. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they got a buffalo. They got a buffalo. They got that, they got that one that, Rick and Morty co-sponsored, and then riots broke out? That's a feature. Huh? It just sounds like a feature. That no, doesn't sound real. like a main one. Since when did you work at McDonald's? <laughs> what? What's going on here? Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's actually... That's a feature. It was never actually a formal yeah, dip. Right. I gotta keep you guys straight. OK. Well, you I think we nailed. I think that's it's it? A, I think that's, it's a ranch. There's six. There's six. Yeah. Well, I'm at seven here. That's because you're still counting his uh, bull <laughs> Rick and Morty one. Oh. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue. Ketchup back in there? What? Ketchup back in there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what... 
I don't know where you were or where you went while I was shooting that Kardashian sketch, but I love it. I love it. I love Spicy Rob. It's unbelievable. Oh, that's one of the sauces, Spicy, Spicy Rob. Spicy Rob, that's it. <laughs> We thought this was interesting. New medical research suggests that many first-time dads actually suffer from brain shrinkage. Researchers scanned the brains of 40 <laughs> first-time fathers before and after their partners gave birth, and they found a loss of brain matter. Yeah. This study was conducted by the National Institute of... Damn it, Brian! Did you forget the milk again? <laughs> Maybe, maybe dads are getting dumber to try and relate to their babies more. Do you ever think of that? <laughs> think about this. This is apparently true. Apparently it's true. Women spend nine months, nine months growing a, a human, a person inside them. They sacrifice their bodies to... They sacrifice everything to make sure that that baby arrives safely. They remove that, 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 that another person leaves their body and then at that moment men are like yeah science says i'm stupid now <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally there have been some unintended consequences of harry styles's current 15 night residency at madison, madison square garden in new york a city-wide shortage of feather boas <laughs> Harry fans have been buying up all the boas around town. It's a dire situation. The city of New York has even requested that Elton John shelter in place. <laughs> what an accomplishment, though, for Harry. You're not a real star until you've caused your very own supply chain issue. <laughs> but the demand for feather boas has really gotten crazy. Look what happened to Big Bird. <laughs> and that's the news. We'll be right back with Kim Kardashian. Thank <laughs> you.